Hello, my soccer universe. Uh, not that I can't talk much today, except there was one game, which was, of course, the Copa del Rey, the second uh, semi final uh, return game between Betis and Valencia in Valencia. And of course, uh, Betis wanted to uh, win it. It would have been special for them because the final was played in their stadium, but no, not gonna happen. Uh, they had more chances, they were pressing and all that, but who made the goal? Valencia, Rodrigo. I think it was early in the second half. And as soon as he made that, uh, Betis needed two goals and they never had really huge chances. I think it was, uh, from what I can tell from the highlights, uh, was a decent defensive performance by Valencia, which is the one thing that they do well. They perform well um, yeah, defensively. Um, wearing today my Ajax shirt. Uh, actually, not necessarily because Ajax uh, did something well, although they won in the uh, uh, Dutch Cup 3-0 at Feyenoord. That's a big result. Uh, I think all three goals came, 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 came in the second half, and yeah, I like Ajax. But now today is the 1st of March, and there in Bulgaria it is typically to put red and white bands, or you know, emphasize on the red and white. I have a band, actually has some green in here as well, uh, for health, happiness and luck for the entire year. And yeah, this is red and white, and my wife likes it when I wear it. So that's why I'm wearing it. But yeah, Ajax. There was another great game uh, yesterday. <laughs> Uh, the day before yesterday, uh, that I didn't talk talk about, but I saw the result uh, later today. So I'm happy that Ajax wins a Classica, especially since they lost the last one in the league quite badly. Uh, and speaking of Ajax, they play Real Madrid, of course, this week, um, which is so. I mean, I would love to Ajax to win, but I know that for Austria this is not good. Ajax uh, cannot win, <laughs> more more or less. Uh, for Austria to uh, remain their 11th spot, unless of course Salzburg gets something against Napoli. Uh, so yeah, I'm. I don't think I'm torn. I want Ajax to win. I, but it's a weird thing that in European play, uh, you gotta uh, root for teams that you actually don't like that much. So yeah, uh, but uh, Real Madrid, Ajax. It's, it's interesting in so far as Sergio Ramos received a two-match ban now because he provoked a yellow card to be suspended for the return leg and not have any cards going into the game against Ajax. Which is a typical Ramos move and what's even more stupid is that he actually uh, admitted to it and that UEFA doesn't want that. Yeah. So he's out for two games and... I think I said it yesterday. Uh, I actually have a feeling that uh, Real Madrid and Barcelona, I think, will both move on. I have a feeling that the Classico this Saturday uh, is not the last Classico we'll see this year. I think they will meet in the Champions League. Uh, it just seems... To me, almost every, every, everything is pointing to it. I don't know why, but uh, it will be a year with six Classicos. Just saying, I have, I have some thoughts. Uh, and speaking of El Clasico, um, if you haven't seen, Barcelona has issued a special jersey for the Clasico, which is not 100%. I mean, they are releasing it, uh, kind of in as a tribute to the first Nike jersey that Barcelona every ever wore. They may wear this one. Uh, Saturday against Real Madrid. I'll be curious to see whether they will actually do that or not. Uh, quick thoughts on it. I'll make probably another video uh, if it really gets uh, worn. The striping is more like the striping I would expect from Barcelona. Uh, like thick stripes. Uh, but the how it is done, it's a little bit too thick. It looks, it looks odd. And, you know, the first uh, Nike jersey that uh, Barcelona ever had was not a pretty one. So, for that reason, I'm not sure. Uh, 
Well, that's it for me today. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the weekend. I looked at the games and of course there's one all overlapping great game. So we have uh, on Saturday it starts out at uh, at least European as I said as a real European 1.30 uh, North London Derby. I mean. uh, then we have I don't know six six against Milan then in the evening at 8.30 is Roma against Lazio or Lazio Roma and then El Clasico at 8.45, so they overlap, I'm not very ha happy about that. Um, and then I think 5 o'clock we have uh, the Merseyside Derby, Everton Liverpool, and then in the evening we have Napoli Juventus. So there is your schedule if you like. Um, I think I might not be able to watch the North London Derby, but everything else I should get. Um, I hated that uh, the Rome Derby and the Classico are at the same time. Absolutely hate it. Um, I probably will have to switch back and forth because I think the Rome Derby is the most heated in Italy easily. And they have the best jerseys this season. This is a wonderful looking Derby. And yeah, El Classico is El Classico. I probably will focus on El Classico. Although. I don't know. The stakes are higher in the Rome Derby, I think. I have to decide. I have to decide. The bad, I mean, the better players are surely in the Classico. And I'm curious to see whether they will play in those jerseys. Well, I have not decided yet. Um, there's not too much happening today, so I'm not sure if there will be a video for, for me tomorrow, but let's see. There might be. I hope you enjoyed my last video. Uh, jersey, and yeah. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.